So, uh, yeah, you probably don't remember me, but I used to be somebody. I spent uh, more than 20 years on Bay Area television. Yeah, I did it all. I, uh, I did news, I, I did some writing, I did some talent work, producing. Uh, dialing for Dollars. Do you remember Dialing for Dollars? Yeah, yeah, that was me. That was me. Oh, boy, look at this van. It's really tricked out. It's got all kinds of bells and whistles. So much has changed since I worked in television. I mean, everything's in color now. <laughs> so much pressure. Okay, let's do it. Ladies and gentlemen, Xilinx presents the 2012 Creative Awards. Welcome to Valleywood. Everyone's a star in Valleywood. Whether cameraman or a big screen ham, we have a role for you to play. Grab makeup kits and your lights and sticks. Come enjoy your stay. Welcome to Valleywood. Funny, sunny, techie, baby, Valleywood. Where startup divas can be the dreamers and get their face on TV. That IT guy can give a try running cameras or green screen. Welcome to Valleywood. Oh, the fast and furious Valleywood. Where Patrick Marlowe and Mr. Rocho are equally understood. Sal Pizarro has got the gobo, looking dapper as he should. Welcome to Valleywood, baby don't be lonely in your neighborhood. Come make a movie at Creative TV, you've got a time slot for free. Calling Valley Natives, it's your creatives. And now, please welcome our host, Mr. Brian Adams. Oh. Hello, Dolly. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 2012 Creative Awards presented by Xilinx. We'd also like to thank our silver sponsor, Adobe, our partner, First Act Silicon Valley. Award sponsors, the Charles Davidson Family Foundation, Focus Business Bank, Kaiser Permanente, Lautsey and Lautsey. Our star sponsor, Hopkins and Carly and Merrill West Credit Union. Photo Wall sponsor, Comcast and Red Carpet sponsors, Silicon Valley Community Foundation and Tech CU. Let's give all those folks a round of applause. And tonight we honor local video makers for their creativity, their passion for storytelling, and commitment to keeping the community voice alive through the media. And once again, we come to you from the beautiful California Theater in downtown San Jose. This venue has a rich history of outstanding entertainment from vaudeville to opera San Jose. And tonight on this very stage, will recognize outstanding work and the folks who made that work possible in categories including Bay Area Community Access TV Series, Business, Citizen Journalist, Creative Excellence, Create TV San Jose TV Series, Educator, Filmmaker, Nonprofit, Student, Enabling Tech, and new this year, Teen Studio, celebrating the work of young people in the Adobe Youth Voices program throughout Silicon Valley. And we'll also honor a community media champion, pay tribute to Mr. San Jose, and celebrate a company that helps ordinary filmmakers be extraordinary ones. We are also fortunate to have some great presenters from the world of entertainment, journalism, business, and the community. 
And as you may have gathered by our open and our surroundings, throughout the evening we'll be giving you a behind-the-scenes peek. We want you to be more aware of the media tools that Create TV San Jose provides for use by the community throughout the year. Now, if you didn't have a chance to watch the finalists this week on Channel 30, you'll have an opportunity to catch them on Create TV in the coming weeks, so be sure to check the programming schedule online. Now, please give a warm welcome to Create TV Board Chair, Charlotte Powers. Good evening. And Thank you. And welcome to the Creative Awards. This is our third annual Creative Awards ceremony presented by one of San Jose's own Xilinx Corporation. A special thank you to Xilinx as well as to all our sponsors. Give them a big hand. Come on, give them a big This is the evening we gather together to recognize and celebrate the outstanding quality of film and media produced by the greater Silicon Valley area. We are especially proud of the outstanding participation of all our schools through the MAP program and the Adobe Teen Studio program, which you will hear about later tonight. Create TV has achieved many milestones in the last four years. We are four short years old, and we are four channels strong, bringing together the diverse community that is San Jose. Producing the Creative Awards is a team effort at, by the board and by the staff. Special thanks to our CEO, Suzanne St. John Crane. <laughs> Pam Kelly, our marketing director and Chief Engineer Justin Cowgill. And the Board of Directors who are responsible tonight for the front of the house tasks that you enjoyed with the reception, et cetera. Will all of our board members please stand so that we can recognize you, so you can get people to get to know you? Please stand, board members. and staff. I would be remiss if it was didn't thank our most dynamic master of ceremonies, Brian Adams. Thank, thank you for celebrating with us tonight, and now it's on with the show. Enjoy the evening. Have a great time. Well, tonight's event simply would not have been possible without the support of our presenting sponsor, Xilinx. The San Jose-based company gives back to the community in many ways, and their support of the mission of Create TV is greatly appreciated. Representing Xilinx this evening, please welcome Director of Broadcast and Consumer Segment Marketing, Ben Runyon, and Senior Marketing Manager, Broadcast and Consumer Segments, Aaron Beeman. All right, so Aaron, did you get the uh, script up on the teleprompter? Uh, yeah, I think so. Was I, I supposed to do that? Oh, no, oh, no, no. I guess, I guess we're going to have to find a, an alternative way to get around this. Let's pull up our emails. Oh, there's an app for that. Okay. <laughs> so, Aaron, yeah, you looking forward to a great show tonight? You know, absolutely, Ben. Last year's event was fantastic, but the Create TV team and all of the nominees and winners have created a wonderful show for this year. Yes, I, I absolutely agree. I'm very proud that Xilinx is a part of the great organization. The staff members of Create TV have done a wonderful job putting, on, putting together tonight's show. You know, Ben, our partnership with Create TV has been invaluable to Xilinx, wouldn't you say? It absolutely has. Uh, it's been a great venue for our broadcast marketing team and our management team to experience video technology firsthand. 
It's helped us at Xilinx really better understand how our technology fits into the professional video space. Absolutely. And you know, not only that, but it's been a great sounding board to share thoughts and exchange ideas on emerging technology like video over IP networks and what you were talking about last year, the next generation in display technology, ultra high definition. You know, video really is the mega trend that is just driving much of the innovation across Silicon Valley. Uh, Xilinx is certainly at the forefront of that trend, and having a community partner like CreateTV um, ensures together we provide the tools for a whole new generation of video producers. Oh, and let's not forget, it's been a great place for some of us to blow off some creative steam. Weren't you and Matt in uh, episodes of Mad Science TV last year? Uh, yep, that's, uh, that's right, that's right. <laughs> you know, and I, and I believe that, you know, art is a, in education is absolutely critical. And especially today, don't you agree? 100 percent. You know, I'm a product of the Los Angeles Unified School District magnet program for theater, television, film, and television arts. In fact, our school had a studio, a television studio on campus. It was in that program that I developed my skills of creativity and communication and was exposed to diverse views. These have really have been fundamental skills that have helped me not only in my career but also in life. You know, programs like Create TV are, are even more critical today as the arts programs continue to get cut in schools. Making video tools and expertise accessible to students of all ages ensures our community continues to develop these creative leaders. Well, and as you are well aware, technology moves at such a fast pace. It's amazing to see how all of this technology and art can come together. That's really true. I mean, technology advancements continue to lower the barriers to entry and make it easier, simpler, and faster for individuals to produce video content. Leading technology firms around the Valley recognize this and are forming tighter bonds with the arts community. Absolutely. I mean, look, Will I Am is Intel's Director of Creative Innovation. A digital SLR camera and a free screenplay app on your iPhone and some open source video editing tools are all you need these days to create video that is of the caliber of a professional feature film. You know, the market we serve on behalf of Xilinx, you know, really is this creative world of video. We interact with thought leaders in cinematography, film, video, and television production. And, and our customers are these developers of this technology that continue to reduce these barriers to creativity by making tools used to capture, produce, and deliver this diverse video programming. You know, Xilinx is honored to be, have CreateTV as a strong community partner. Absolutely. Let's have a great show, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Now, before our first award of the program, some direction to our recipients. That's right, I've always wanted to direct. So here's my moment. If your name is called as a recipient of a uh, creative award, please make your way to the stage via the stairs closest to the onstage announcers. Each recipient will have 30 seconds to thank everyone under the sun. And then the sun sets on your moment and uh, in the spotlight. So if your remarks exceed 30 seconds, the orchestra pit will open. <laughs> You're likely never to be able to produce another video, ever. Plus, it will be very humiliating. Trust me, I've been there. So let's get things started in the category business. And to present our first award of the night, please welcome San Jose's Vice Mayor, the Honorable Madison Nguyen. As you know, I'm seldom at a loss for word, but I am right now because I don't have the results in this category. So there's only one person that I can turn to in this situation. From the accounting firm of Lassie & Lassie, please welcome Jonathan Strauss. Once again, an accountant saves the day for someone from City Hall. And the nominees are... Art Cervantes and Duncan Cook for Campbell Walking Tour. Daniel Garza and Elizabeth Handler 
or how to repair a hole in your drywall. Sean O'Kane and Andrew Hamby for DAC 2012 and the Denali Party. Tom Walmut and Aubrey Lemonstone for Intuit Loan Finder. Meet Jackie. And the creative award for business less than 30 goes to Tom Walmart and Aubrey Levenstone. Meet Jackie, business owner of the Baker's Dozen. She has dreams of opening a second bakery, but she's worried about the time and hassles associated with loan applications. She gets all her financial statements in order, goes to her local bank, fills out a mountain of paperwork about her business and its funding needs. Jackie leaves the bank feeling anxious, but hopeful about her application. A couple of months later, Jackie receives a denied letter in the mail. And now for the business more than 30 minutes category. Monique Lombardelli, Andrew Corpus, and Kyle Chesser for People in Glass Houses, the legacy of Joseph Eichler. Sorry. The winner is Monique Lombardelli, Andrew this. Corpus, and That's Kyle Chesser, People in Glass Houses. And that means all this space is free. And when you look at it in elevation, it means you no longer have these little pokey openings like in a conventional house. But all this can be glass. And that's what makes an Eichler different. This is like winning an Oscar or something. Well, this better be good. Uh, I have 30 seconds. I'm Monique Lombardelli. I produced the film. This is Andrew Corpus, the editor. You know, I had a $40,000 budget, and these guys made it look like $150,000, so I'm so psyched right now. Um, I'm a real estate agent. That's my business. And I wanted to do something different to market myself, so I fell in love with these homes and, um, <laughs> and wanted to show them. You know, Joseph Eichler was the only developer in the Bay Area. He developed 11,000 of these homes, and he was the only one allowing African Americans, Asian people to buy homes. So this award is for Joseph Eichler. Andrew. Um, I just wanted to say I had so much fun working on this project. Um, I met so many amazing people, and I want to say thank you to each and every one of them. Uh, I want to say thank you to Monique, the producer, without her, this whole thing will never be, you know, done. And everyone over at Hands On Studio, thank you. Awesome, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Create TV board member Javier Gonzalez and KGO film critic and host of Flick Nation, Dennis Willis. Thank you very much. I uh, began my media journey, as it were, through public access. As a teenager, I produced a show called Soundwaves that lasted over 20 years, which led me to, yes, please, applause, which led me to a show about movies, which led me to my gig at KGO Radio. So needless to say, I am a huge believer in the mission of what Create TV San Jose does. And recently joining the board of Create TV San Jose and being a champion for community voices, I'm delighted to honor series producers from community media centers throughout Northern California. There are two subcategories, non-professional and professional. Let's take a look at the first nominees. Tim Erskine and DH for My Tune TV Episode 17. Mike Hennessy for Car Guy Channel, Antique Auto Show at History Park. Gloria Horsley, Heidi Horsley, Patty Page, and Karen Adams 
for Open to Hope, Handling the Loss of a Child. Sean Novak for 20 by 2020. Martin Wasserman and Mi Ling Fong for Future Talk, The Maker Fair. Wait a minute, I think you have my envelope. No, actually, it's we could roast Shambo for it. And the winner, are we supposed to say that anymore? And the award for the Bay Area Community Access TV Series Non-Professional goes to Mike Hennessy. Welcome to the Car Guy channel. Again, I say it every week, all the time. I think the shows are just getting better and better and better. And I want to thank Alan and Lucy Greenberg for putting on and promoting one of the largest antique collectible car shows, I think, in California, you guys. I think it's one of the best I've ever been to and seen. You guys are going to see all sorts of very, very unusual, and I mean really, really cool vintage stuff. Like I say, there's two things you don't touch. Hey, don't touch any of these cars, and don't... Well, someone found a way to shut me up, it looks like. <laughs> now, I brought a shirt tonight that everybody could kind of notice what I, what I was wearing. I didn't have anything black, but obviously, the, my show would never work without Estelle Gow. And Estelle, I know you don't come up, but stand up because she's the gal that makes Car Guy Channel work. She shows my car collection all the time. She makes this happen. The big thing is that she makes it happen. And my great, fantastic wife, Susan, is the one that has to hand all the DVDs out and get all the work done. So, uh, and thank everybody for watching the show. I mean, that's what it's all about with Crate TV is everybody here doing something about it and doing something good. And, you know, let's face it, it's really not about the money. It's about really what you're doing with it. And, and uh, I think it's pretty neat doing what we're doing. So God bless everybody out there. And thank you very much. And now, the nominees for the Bay Area Community Access TV Series Professionals. Mark Balser for Bay Area Quiz Kids, episode 1312. Henrietta J. Burroughs for protecting ourselves from internet crime. Bobby Fragone. Angela Anderson for Health Point TV, episode 111, Cardiology. Mitch Jurisich for Hooked on the Niners, episode 508. Mark Simon for The Game, episode 190, with comic Will Durst. You guys having a great night? All right. And the Creative Award for Bay Area Community Access TV Series Professional goes to Bobby Fagone and Angela Anderson. Health Point TV, episode 111. The first thing you need to do is make sure that you are calling for assistance. Uh, preferable that you call emergency medical services in the U.S. 911 particularly if the symptoms have been ongoing for more than 20 minutes, it's time to call and do something. Mills Peninsula Medical Center is a facility that has immediately available all of the services needed to treat an acute coronary syndrome. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm uh, Mark Naismith, the CEO of Penn TV, and it's a delight to accept this award on behalf of Bobby Fagoni and Angela Anderson, and I'd really like to acknowledge Rocky Robinson, who's back there, who's... I'm right over here. Oh, he's right next I to me. Right up, right up I, next to you. I'd like to acknowledge Rocky Robinson, who did the, the real blocking and tackling on this wonderful piece, uh, did all the video... Boy, an old guy, but they had a... The lights are bright. Exactly. The lights are bright. Who did all the videography and editing on this wonderful uh, uh, piece for Mills Peninsula Health Center, so we're, we're delighted to accept this award. Thank you so very much. Thank you very much, Green TV.
righty. Well, uh, in keeping with our behind-the-scenes theme this evening, we thought we'd uh, let you see the man behind the voice. So uh, let's uh, meet right now actor, writer, producer, Stephen Kirk. Stephen? S Stephen? <coughs> and that, my friends, is why we keep Stephen off stage. That's right. All right, moving right along. <laughs> One of the really cool things uh, about Creative TV San Jose is that it provides the tools and the outlet to provide a voice to those in our community who may otherwise never have that ability, thus creating many citizen journalists. And if that isn't a segue into our next category, I'm not sure what is. The Creative Award for Citizen Journalists is sponsored by Kaiser, and to present the award, please welcome San Jose Police Auditor, the Honorable LaDoris Cordell, and Government Affairs Manager for Kaiser Permanente, Darcy Green. Good evening. My job involves ensuring that the public has a voice in bringing forth any issues that may arise related to the men and women who are sworn to protect and serve those who live and work in San Jose. I guess since they told me there was not time for my tap dance and gymnastic routine, I'll just read my lines. And at Kaiser Permanente, we know that providing everyone with access to community, media equipment, training, and distribution is what allows our democracy to thrive. So let's take a look at the nominees in the category Citizen Journalist. Ashley Costa, for the love of food, a food system in the making. Jessica Donahue, for the breast cancer journey. S. Kramer Herzog, for Eye of the Storm. Raymond Donald Hong, for Outlook Video, The Road to Marriage Equality, Defeating Proposition 8. Claire Mix and Charles Class, for Gila River and Mama, The Ruth Mix Story. Oh my God, this is so exciting. Okay, and the Creative View Award goes to Claire Mix and Charles Class, Gila River and Mama, The Ruth Mix Story. Those are the people that lived at Hewlett Relocation Center. And we didn't put them in showers of gas or kill them in the ovens, but we killed them by ignoring them. Yes. By now you know this is a story of the Japanese-American internment during World War II. Clara Mix has Parkinson's, so she can't travel anymore, but she wrote, produced, directed, edited, and wrote the music for this, so I'm sort of her legs, if you want to say that. So I want to thank not only Create TV, but all of the organizations and all of you out there, because you make a difference. I'm Vanessa, and I'm from Create TV. And how is a community center like Create TV important to you? Well, we are both board members at Create TV. Yes, we are. And um, it's important to me because I believe in free speech. TV, you know, brings you know media, you know, to the every to every person. Because everybody can come to a community uh, media center and produce anything they want. Well, for me, it's very important because you actually tape our board meetings, and so my community really gets to hear what's going on in their community. Well, did you, uh, did you all catch the camera people and editors in the lobby this evening for the show? 
they're all part of the Adobe Youth Voices program in San Jose. And the good folks from Adobe have been tremendous supporters of Create TV San Jose from day one. Joining Adobe Youth Voices director Alex Yamamoto on stage to share some very exciting news about a wonderful new partnership between these entities. Please welcome to the stage executive director of Create TV San Jose, Suzanne St. John Crane. Adobe Youth Voices is the Adobe Foundation's global philanthropic initiative that provides youth in underserved communities around the world with critical thinking and technology skills they need to unlock their creativity and become active and engaged citizens. And at Create TV, we believe that every young person in San Jose should have access to the digital tools and training that will not only help them tell their stories, but give them the 21st century skills necessary to thrive in the workforce. Tonight, we are here, we, we are proud to formally announce that the Adobe Youth Voice, the Adobe Foundation, in partnership with the First Act Silicon Valley and Create TV San Jose, to expand its global philanthropic initiative, Adobe Youth Voices, throughout Silicon Valley. And building on the success of the Adobe Youth Voices program and curriculum, which is phenomenal, we present to you a network of digital media labs for at-risk teens called The Studio. The vision is that Silicon Valley teens are engaged in their community and acquiring relevant skills through creative labs and digital outlets that empower and connect them to each other. The Adobe Foundation, the Adobe Foundation investment, invests in financial and in-kind resource, including curriculum, educator training, software, ongoing support to participating sites. The goal is to serve 400 students per year through the studio network. And tonight we'd like to announce that Create TV is investing $60,000 worth of equipment throughout those seven studio sites. <laughs> Content that is produced at the labs will be showcased on Create TV's education channel, Classrooms Channel 28 on Comcast. So tonight we ask you to celebrate with us the creative genius of our young people and the potential they can reach through increased access to resources and mentors. To give you a glimpse of the creativity coming out of the studios, please welcome Antoinette Paveria and performers from Adobe Youth Voices sites throughout Silicon Valley. You're gonna love this. Let's have some fun. We'll go with you. While reinforcing the idea of distance, the dual residency of our hearts only serves to show that we neither belong here nor are we safe. Our struggle is that we're constantly trying to wear in the paths that lead us to our tent without wearing out the footprints that lead us back home, with our hearts singing the rhythm of a refugee. And I've been doing that ever since. This year's a curse at the same time, heaven sent. And my whole life been hell. First time but prison, but like I feel like I've been here. here. And they say, what well, the heart is. Man, she's growing your garden. Sometimes I feel like it's here with y'all. And sometimes I feel like I don't belong. I'm running towards that's something that's running towards me. Let's see, last steps will meet. And it ain't, he okay, he's gone. Running with my tanks on E. Up for two days and I'm going on sleep. Frank, she's been dancing, my passion keeps burning, my dreams keep my mind around and faith keeps me alive. Heartbeat racing to the base of the beat, I'm speaking from the heart of a refugee. Santa 
I'd, uh, I'd like to, love to do some hip hop dancing to myself, uh, myself right now. What do, you, what do you think? Unfortunately, at my age, what is likely to happen is that I'll wind up breaking a hip and end up hopping. So that would be the hip hop that I would do. In partnership with Adobe and First Act Silicon Valley, uh, we've added a new creative award category for 2012, Teen Studio. Uh, this category is open only to those students who are participating in the Teen Studio program. Please welcome our next presenters, Director of the Creative Teens Initiative at First Act, Peter Piep, and Season 11 American Idol finalist, San Jose's very own, DeAndre Brackensick. First Act Silicon Valley is proud to bring the studio program to, uh, to many young people in our community. It's truly inspiring to watch the creative process evolve and the skills begin to develop when the right tools and opportunities are provided. DeAndre, you know a thing or two about creativity. Just a little bit. Thanks, Peter. <laughs> My music career has enabled me to meet a lot of great young people throughout the country. And I'm proud to know that there's such a creative work being done throughout the youth in my hometown, San Jose. All right, right. DeAndre may share a bit of that uh, creativity a bit later tonight. Uh, but for now, let's take a look at the nominees. Donovan Cosby, Gilberto Sanchez, Christian Cosio, Locke Lee, and Dayton Smith for Homeless, Not Hopeless. Sherry Kaba for We Solemnly Promise. Sandra Navarro for responsibility is the key. Chelsea Olson and Greg Whitkin for Art Is. Antoinette Pervera for Right Where We Left Off. Creative award for Teen Studio goes to. You want to say it? Go ahead. Oh, okay. Chelsea Olson and Greg Witzkin for Art Is. There's a beginning, a middle, and an end. In the beginning, you're unsure what will happen. In the middle, a complication arises. But in the end, everything works out the way they should. If you have a passion for something, then you should understand what I mean. If you don't have a passion, well, that's okay. But that moment when you find yourself becoming filled with such pride that you cannot describe, just by finding that one talent you're actually good at, 
for that is harsh. to Unstoppable Women in Action. My name is Shannon D. Silva, and I'm your host. You're now tuned into Karma Television. It's your boy, Mac Toriano. I'm the host of What's Good in the Bay. Tonight on What's Good in the Bay, we got an interview with young soldier, the realist, coming out of San Jose. Hello, viewers, and welcome to yet another exciting episode of Women Now. Hello, my name is Mike Hennessy. I actually do and produce a show called The Car Guy Channel on Create TV. If I didn't have Create TV helping me get the word out, the word definitely would not even get out. So I really admire Create TV and all the hard work they do to help people like myself produce a show like this for the community. Thank you, Create TV, for giving us a voice and letting all of the people that come through us have a voice in the community. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome back to Do The Premiering, you know, good, positive, mentors like Nicholas is doing something really positive in our community you know and we're all about that and we're all about supporting that. Hi my name is Siwapili Rose Amador and I'm the producer of Native Voice TV. Create TV provides us an opportunity to reach our audience. Without this this having this access we probably wouldn't even be on the air. <laughs> Those are just a, a few ways that locally produced programming from local citizens are having a positive impact on our community. Community views and community voices is really the core of Create TV San Jose. The category Create TV San Jose TV series recognizes TV series that are produced by Create TV San Jose producers for cable casting on Create TV channels, which now include channels 15, 27, 28, and 30. To present our next award, San Jose City Council Member, the Honorable Rose Herrera, and coming to you from Camber One, the producer of Create TV's Climate Kids Club, Juan Serna. You look stunning this evening. Well, hello. You do, too. Well, thank you. I know. It's an honor to be with you tonight as we recognize outstanding achievements among more than 140 series carried here on Create TV San Jose. And that's just one channel. This year, there were 3,300 videos aired on Create TV channel. Ask Lewis if you don't believe me. 3,300 videos? And not one of them with me singing on it? What? I mean, I mean, sure, they carried my debate, but not one of them with me singing. What do you mean, Rose? You're a singer? Welcome to Valleywood. Everyone's a star in Valleywood. Cameraman or big screen ham, we've got a role for you to play. Grab makeup kits and your lights and sticks. Come enjoy your stay. Uh. Rose, Rose, uh, yeah. 
they're telling me backstage that uh, you gotta stop singing. All right, all right, okay. Here are the nominees. Doug Carmen and Darlene Carmen for Darlene Carmen Presents, episode Turning Wheels for Kids. Mike Hennessy for Car Guy Channel, Antique Auto Show at History Park. Raymond Donald Hall for Outlook Video Episode 290, Special Pride Edition. Delisha Naomi for Do the Hustle Episode 2, Groovy Holiday. Christina Salinas and Dr. R. Brian Salinas for I Can Do, Episode 8. That was exciting. Being always a creativity, I love to see all you guys, and you guys are all awesome. All right, so no more playing. Let's see who wins, Rose. All okay. right. And the winner for tonight. Drum roll. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, Raymond Donald Hong. All right. Good afternoon. The Outlook March Video 290 Special Pride, Pride Edition. This year, some new faces are appearing in this annual event. The pink triangle unfolds on Twin Peaks, covering almost an acre of space that can be seen from across the bay. The Dyke March and Rally makes a change to their annual event in Dolores Park. A performer makes one of her last appearances at Pink Saturday. And the San Francisco Pride celebration begins on this special Pride edition of Outlook Video, July 2012. Our program has been broadcasting for 26 years, and this is icing on the cake. This is a great way to cap 26 years of uh, LGBT programming. Uh, I want to thank everybody in front of and behind the camera at Outlook Video, and I want to thank all the people who uh, shared their stories with us, and I'd uh, like to thank the judging panel. Thank you so much. <laughs> Well, you know, a, an awards program just wouldn't happen without somebody backstage handling the awards, right? So you've noticed we had some youngsters here with us this evening. I want to bring out Jenny and Anthony. Where are they? Come on out. How are you guys? Let me get between you here. You want to come up where the lighting's better? You know, you know all that because you're part of the MAP program, right? Tell me, Anthony, about the MAP program. Well, it lets everybody in the MAP program experience creating a video and broadcasting it on TV. Editing it, scripting it, and creating it. And Jenny, tell me about your experience. What kind of equipment do you work with? Well, um, the MAP program gave us a lot of really cool professional equipment. We got a professional camera, and we got a lava mic, which goes on your lapel, and a handheld mic, and we got some really cool um, lighting equipment, so it's pretty fun. And have you learned enough about the equipment that you could actually make me look good? Yes, we, we definitely have. We've learned lighting. Uh, we could put lighting on your face and everything to make it look good. <laughs> or turn the lights off my face to make me look good. Anthony and Jenny, thank you so much for being with us tonight, and thanks for the great job you're doing. Let's give it up. All right, San Jose, and I felt like Arndt Linkletter there for about 30 seconds. San Jose and the South Bay has become a vibrant community for arts and culture, and one reason for that is the good work being done by the Arts Council of Silicon Valley. Please welcome the CEO of Arts Council of Silicon Valley and member of the Create TV Advisory Council, Nancy Glaze. Nancy? Hi, I had hoped tonight to co-present uh, with producer Darla Anderson from Pixar, um, but she is unable to be with us tonight. However, Darla wanted to congratulate the nominees in the category Filmmaker. And through the power of video, here's Darla Anderson. 
Hi, I'm Darla Anderson, producer at Pixar. Congratulations to all of the Creative Awards finalists in the house tonight. I understand there are a few animated shorts containing for an award, all from San Jose State University. Nicely done. Your creativity, hard work, and commitment to your craft is inspiring. Keep doing what you're doing and let's all keep supporting media centers like CreaTV that give people access to digital media tools and training. Enjoy the celebration tonight. Thank you, Darla. The category filmmaker offers two subcategories. The nominees for short, less than 30 minutes are. David Chai for A Knock on My Door. Mark Donahue and Sean Williams for Dream Music, part two. Michelle Akimoto for Thule Lake. Ross Meehan for Sourdough Slim Documentary. Magendra Singh and Caitlin Kelly Singh for Project Dirt Road. Recipient of the Create Creative Award for Filmmaker Short is Tuli Lake. Um, uh, I, I first wanted to thank the San Jose State Animation Illustration Program um, and our great advisors. Um, the fact that they're um, Alice Carter, Courtney Graner, and David Chai, um, that there is support for their students. We you know, wouldn't have the, the opportunity to create a film like this. Um, I wanted to thank my, my grandmother, um, whose experiences in the internment camps and um, her love for her family inspired the story. Um, all of my hardworking classmates for working to make this film, like Corey Fuller. And um, all of our family and friends for their support. Thank you very much. Thank you, Create TV. Here are the nominees in the category Filmmaker Feature, More Than 30 Minutes. Robin Casper for Swiss Adventures with Tom. Claire Mix and Charles Class for Gila River and Mama, the Ruth Mix story. Jim Reisinger for 38th Annual Charlie Wiedemeyer All-Star Football Game. That's my cue. The Creative Award goes to, this is fun, Gilta River and Mama, the Ruth Mix story. Congratulations. The day that Pearl Harbor was bombed was Sunday. During the middle of the church service, my father breaks into the Methodist church in Florin and announces that Pearl Harbor is bombed by the Japanese. And there was just dead silence the minister had everybody go home that day, but later that evening, he holds a special service and has all of the lights turned off in the chapel and lights a single candle. Thank you, thank you very much. You know, we just saw the Thule River, which was another internment camp, which I'm really pleased that they won the award. What I can say is the young people in this world, in this country, are beginning to understand what prejudice is all about. And that's why we revert back to the World War II and the internment, historically speaking, because the young kids 
they're going to stop this prejudice stuff. I have a lot of confidence in that. Thank you. uncomfortable speaking in front of just a small audience, but now I speak in front of TV. We have kids from a huge variety of backgrounds and kids that you won't necessarily normally see on TV. Now they're front center stage and really blossoming on screen. It's very important that people see the production that not only me, but other people are part of this program, especially teens, because adults aren't the only people that can make a good video, or adults aren't the only people with a good message. Teens go through a lot of things too. Teens have lots of great ideas. It really opened me up. I'm like more happy now. For the first time in my life, I felt, oh, like I was in control for once. And I have a lot more confidence in myself. That I know how to make a video, know how to edit and film. I can make a difference. It has made me become more connected with my school. Being a part of something that I didn't think that I could ever be a part of. It's great for youth to create media with a purpose. These are my ideas. Seeing different people watching something that I created. It's really nice to see them become something. We have resources that public education wouldn't normally be able to give us. Without the Creativity Grant, no student um, has this camera. None of our students have Final Cut at home or anything like that. Creativity's mock grant has been very beneficial in our school and our program by giving access to our students to overcome the digital divide that exists, especially schools on the east side in the Santa Clara County. It's a class that's keeping them coming to school. We do have some at-risk youth in our program and the kids love the class. We're making gains in our community. We're making gains in relationships. We're going out to places like the Chalk Art Festival where we do, we did a ton of interviews out there and people were meeting us and talking to us and seeing some of the amazing things we're doing here at Burnett. Students feel like they're, they're being heard and I think that makes a big difference for all of them. Not just the kids who are you know, making the show who are in the class, but students around campus actually feel like what they say matters. People trust me with this really expensive equipment. People trust me to take this video and to do this on their Macs and their cameras. People trust me. When you get that trust, things, things change so much. You have no idea. It's encouraged me to try and go farther along with it, especially in college. It's allowed us to see deeper into some people's lives that in a regular situation, we probably wouldn't have been able to. Shown me who I can be, who I can be when I make films. Your talents are showcased and people see that. It, it's in me now. <laughs> it, it changed me for the better and now I love it. I just love making films. I can't stop doing it. Thanks so much for being here tonight with us. I just want to take a moment to talk to you all a little bit about not only MAP, which is just a, 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 a such an inspiring program at Create TV, but about some of the other work that we're doing at Create TV. But first, congratulations to all the finalists and winners out there tonight. Give yourselves a hand. What a fun night. So the video you just saw was produced by Rosa Castaneda, Create TV's educational channel coordinator. Yeah, give it up. Come on, show her some love. That's all good. Rosa's with us from uh, this school year from the Public Allies Program, thanks to support from our great friends at Xilinx. This is her first video. I think she knocked it out of the park, so. Excellent. So I just want to spotlight some of the key work that we've been doing this year because it's just so exciting and inspiring. I'm just going to take a couple minutes to do so and, and ask for your support and your partnership in the coming year. You know, people know us for our digital media classes or our four channels or maybe our production work, 
But truly, the roots of our service and impact run pretty deep. In 2012, 100 community groups in San Jose, including nonprofits, government agencies, and schools, received video production support through our organization. 200, thank you. 286 class certifications were given to members of the community who wanted to learn about digital media through our facility. And 3,256 new videos were turned into air on our, on our channel 15 and, and the other channels as well. It's phenomenal. We continue to air shows in eight languages. So access to digital media tools, training, and access to an audience for every voice in San Jose is alive and well here through Create TV. But no program has been more inspiring than MAP uh, Media Access Program. Thanks to Create TV's MAP program, San nine San Jose middle and high schools have either a $60,000, how'd you like this in high school? $60,000 three camera lives HD studio, or five HD camera kits and five editing systems. And we have five K through five schools that have a camera kit and an iMac for editing. Each of those schools turns in a 30 minute show every month to air on channel 28. Super cool. So the stories, the stories that you heard through Rose's video tonight are very powerful. I can't say anything to you tonight up here, standing here, that really tops what the students and the teachers have shared already. It's, it's really simple, folks. We believe that to engage this digital generation, you've got to give them digital tools. And so as Dentori said in the video, we have a story, right? Young people have something to say, and access to Creativity's equipment and channels allows them to be heard. So I just want to introduce a couple folks with me here tonight. These young, young guys, where's, where's the little ones? Jenny, you can come out here too. Jenny and Anthony, if you want to join us on stage, we'd love to have you here too. There are women involved at these schools in the MAP program too. It's not all the guys. But with me tonight are students from some of our MAP schools. Michael Ortega from Mount Pleasant High School. Michael. We have Joe Duncan. And Gabe Riva from Lincoln High School. There we go. And you already heard from Jenny Foxhoven and Anthony Zanella from Williams Elementary. So the work that these young people have produced is a shining example of the success of the MAP program. But I've asked Joe to share a little bit of his experience in particular, which actually led him to finding his passion and getting some work, a job, in the industry while he was in, still in high school. Joe, tell us a little bit about what happened to you. Okay, um, so the Creative TV equipment has had a tremendous impact on me since I first started using it in my media arts class um, last year. Um, and although I took the, the, uh, the class to learn how to make films, um, my teacher, Mr. Rez, um, easily sold me the idea of um, using professional equipment uh, to produce live events at our school. Um, and I just, I couldn't resist, you know, the thought of using real professional equipment to, uh, to film athletic events that would um, actually be aired on television for my friends and my family to see. Um, and while I started out just volunteering as a cameraman, um, I eventually worked up to directing. Um, and I haven't missed a production since, and <laughs> uh, my passion is even extended to volunteering um, for actually Create TV themselves and not just my school. Um, I was swept away with the experience of filming. Um, it, it just, it keeps me firmly rooted in that director's chair. Um, and although filmmaking is still the inspiration of my dreams, um, thanks to the MAP program and thanks to Create TV in general, live production has become the passion of my reality. So, thank you. Give these young people a hand. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. So I'm here tonight just to remind you that it truly does take a community to make a community media center like Create TV run and thrive. And while Create TV is fortunate to have funds for capital, equipment, and support, like we've shared with you tonight, we've placed equipment in different schools, we do need to raise 100% of our operating funds. And so we're closing the gap on what we need each year. We're almost there. Our goal this year is to raise $250,000 to sustain our operation. So it's the beginning of 2013, and I would ask you to kick off the year right. I'd ask you to please consider pledging support for free speech with a pledge for our youth having access to 21st century skills and tools. 
with a pledge for nonprofits and schools having a voice, and with a pledge for closing the digital divide in San Jose, California. Imagine what we can do together with equipment and the dollars to provide staffing support to the schools, nonprofits, and communities, uh, producers who have a story to tell. So in your program, there is a pledge card where you can make a gift of any size towards the work that we do at Create TV San Jose. And we certainly appreciate your consideration tonight, your attendance, your support. Our ushers uh, are well, will be uh, there after the show to collect any pledge cards you may want to turn in today, and you can certainly mail those as well. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Our crew has worked so hard for this event tonight, and it just means the world to have you all here. We appreciate your support. You guys can go off that way. Go ahead and Thanks, guys. Okay, and for more inspiring work, if that wasn't enough, uh, let's present the Creative Awards in our nonprofit category. Please welcome the President and CEO of Focus Business Bank, Richard Conniff, and from the Silicon Valley Community Foundation, Chief Donor Engagement and Giving Officer, Eleanor Clement Glass. Eleanor and I are pleased to present the Creative Award to the category nonprofit. The videos in this category are produced by or for nonprofit organizations with the goal of educating and engaging the public, creating positive change in the community, and supporting the mission of nonprofit organizations. There are three subcategories based on length. Our first is public service announcements, two minutes or less, and the nominees are. Lena Tran, for the last time. David Choice and Josh Russell for Happy Hollow Lemur Campaign. Jonathan Doherty for Meet Angela. Angie Flores for Holiday Wish Drive 2011. Brittany Ruiz for Unfriend Cyberbullies. And the Creative Award for Nonprofit Videos, two minutes or less, goes to. Angie Flores. Wow, 23 years ago at San Jose State, we started the Family Giving Tree as a class project. And um, I want to thank Create TV and all of you for helping us spread the word. And um, on December 17th at 7.15 p.m., we helped our millionth child. Thank you. Our next subcategory is nonprofit short, two minutes to three to 30 minutes. Let's take a look at the nominees. Xin Young Performing Arts for Classical Chinese Dance. Howard Louie for Get Into the Movement. Ginger Taylor McDonald and Doug McNeil for Lighting for Literacy, Los Gatos Morning Rotary Club. Joseph Oliverio for Ecstasy, Lives Out of Balance. Tom Walmut and Gloria Duffy for A Home for Ideas. 
and the Creative TV Award goes to Shen Young Performing Arts. I want to perform the character of an army general. I would use the following movements of the hand and wrist, then relax the upper back. The body follows the hand movements, then breathe and hold the fist. When watching Shen Yun, you can really feel a kind of spirit from the dancers. They do things as a whole. There's no sense of pressure within the group. Everyone gives you support and motivation. What they pursue is excellence in art and traditional culture. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. This is a very timely thing because uh, Shen Yun performance is here in San Jose today and tomorrow. And, uh, it's a wonderful show, and I want to uh, thank Creative TV and all who support it for helping New Tong Dynasty Television and helping uh, letting us put our show on our channel for years now. It's been very helpful. Thank you so much. Our final award in the nonprofit category is features 31 minutes or longer. Karen Barton for Meth Testimony. Gloria Horsley, Heidi Horsley, Patty Page, and Karen Adams for Open to Hope, Handling the Loss of a Child. Garrett Thomas for Public Domain Movie Night, Night of the Living Dead. And the recipient of the Creative Award for the nonprofit feature is Gloria Horsley, Heidi Horsley, Patty Page, and Karen Adams. What would you do if the unthinkable happened? How could you go on with life if your child died? How would you feel? How could you possibly deal with the pain, the loss, the devastation? This show is brought to you by the Open to Hope Foundation with the mission of helping people find hope after loss. And, and we have to switch to self-compassion. How long do you think that takes? Self-compassion, mm -hmm. it's, it's every day. Let's get a... I, <laughs> I want to thank uh, particularly Midpen Peninsula for helping us realize our dream of being able to bring hope to people who've had loss. We've tried to do things with regular television and it's a difficult topic to find this transformational power and this is my daughter Heidi who's my co-host and uh, thank everybody for this experience and uh, we're very excited about public access. Scott we miss you this one's for you buddy you live forever in my heart baby brother. Presenting the uh, Educator Award, sponsored by the Davidson Family Foundation, please welcome Adobe Youth Voices and MAP student from Mount Pleasant High School, Michael Ortega, and Create TV's own Education Channel Coordinator, Rosa Castaneda. Good evening. The category Educator includes videos produced by educational institutions, school districts, and classroom teachers for use in the classroom and that document school activities, issues, and events. Here are the nominees for Educator, educator Award that are at the head of the class. Raquel Anaya for Salsa Dance Now TV. <music> Xiao Sheng for Grammar Song. Chip Curry for American Folk Dancing. Diane Garazzi for Equal Time SJSU Admissions. Greg Watkins, Jeremy Sable, and Richard Clark for This is Hamlet. Well, we have a 
bit of a surprise for you tonight. We have a tie. So the first creative award in the educator category goes to Chip Curry for American folk dancing. Hi, my name is Cameron, and I thought that was just awesome. Everybody was having fun, and it was so cool. Check. Hey. Anyway, um, I, I talked to my friend Evo Bluestein uh, about his project. He takes a fiddle into schools and uh, teaches the kids how to do folk dancing. And I said, Evo, I got to come down there and shoot this because this is such a positive experience in schools. And so I went down there and we spent a whole week in the school and uh, this is just great news. So thank you very much. <laughs> The sec second creative uh, award for educator goes to uh, Greg Quadkins, Jeremy Sabol, and Richard Clark. Prince Hamlet must for kill Claudius to avenge his father's death and assume his rightful place on the throne. Ralph, Ophelia seems deeply shaken to me. She's told her father that Hamlet came to visit her, but that he seemed, well, batty. His clothes were all a mess, his knees were knocking, as if he'd been loosed out of hell, she says. What said he? He took me by the wrist and held me hard. Well, thanks a lot to uh, Creative TV and Creative Awards. Uh, Jeremy and I both teach in the humanities, and we wanted a way to bring our love of Shakespeare to a wider audience, and community television turned out to be a great way to do that. We want to thank our fantastic Bay Area acting team, uh, Karen Adams, Louise Pankavel, and the whole team at Mid Peninsula Community Media, Media Center, our editor, Jim Farber, and, and most importantly, our executive producer, Richard Clark. Thank you so much, Richard. Thanks. There wouldn't be educators without students. With that lesson learned, it's time to recognize great work being done by students. For that, let's welcome to the, the cast of Create TV San Jose's Science Show for Kids, JD, Zoe, and the professor from Mad Science. How's it going, guys? If you haven't caught Mad Science, it's a series on Create TV, San Jose's classroom channel 28, every Wednesday at 4.30 and Saturdays at 9 a.m. The program is all about teaching kids the many opportunities awaiting them in engineering careers. Some people think that kids only enjoy watching television, but we are proof that many kids also enjoy producing digital media. The student category provides three subcategories based on age. Those entries considered were required to be produced, shot, and edited by students of all ages, and not necessarily for a school project. Here are the nominees for the 12 and under category. Charlie Ibsen and Kara Wheeler for Revenge of the Toys. Williams Elementary Tech Club and Gloria Dunlop for Froggy and News Broadcast Skits. We would like to shine a special spotlight on these two finalists as they are both connected to Create TV in a unique way. Charlie Ibsen, producer of Revenge of the Toys, is an actor in Create TV San Jose's Climate Kids Club program. The Williams Elementary Tech Club, led by teacher Gloria Dunlap, produced Froggy and news broadcast skits. I'd like to ask the kids involved in producing these videos to stand up and let's give them a hand. We certainly look forward to seeing your entries in the Creative Awards for years to come. And the Creative Award for student 12 and under goes to 
Charlie Ibsen and Kyra Wheeler, Revenge of the Toys. <laughs> nice of you to drop by. The only thing we're gonna be dropping is lots and lots of stuffing. Charlie! <laughs> Thank you. Um, let's see, you wanna thank anybody first? <laughs> I don't know. You can go. Okay, um, let's see. Um, my mom and your mom are both in the audience today. I'm not going uh -huh. to point them out. But <laughs> they can stand up if they want to. We'd like to thank them and the other people in the cast of Revenge of the Toys and the crew and everybody because they are all awesome. And now for the students 13 to 18 years old, the nominees are Lena Tran for These Times Are Hard. Joe Duncan for Osias. Yukiko Hatanaka for Our Voice. Alex Jacobson for Street Racing Kills. Alex Lowe for Hello Dolly and Andy's Pet Shop. The Creative Award for student 13 to 18 years old goes to Alex Jacobson, Street Racing Kills. I'd like to thank uh, CreateTV for uh, giving us the opportunity to showcase our work on uh, national television or uh, local yeah. television. And also uh, my teacher, Mr. Rez, for providing us with the skills we need to, to produce a piece of work like this. Thank you. And finally, the student 19 and older category, because you should never stop learning no matter what your <laughs> age, right guys? Yeah. And the nominees are... Ashley Costa for The Love of Food, A Food System in the Making. Zizli Flores for United. Michelle Akimoto for Tule Lake. Kern and Jessica Frank for Adults with Autism. Chris Lamb and Unsu Young for Couch and Potatoes. The recipient of the Creative Award for Student 19 and Older goes to... Michelle Akimoto, Tool Lake. Do you have 
additional notes? Um, sure. I, just as a student that worked on the film, Tooth Lake was one of my first films. And I mean, it was just such an honor to work on, on a film with so much meaning. And I made tons of friends and just had a, a wonderful experience. Yeah. Well, um, thank you to all these same people mentioned in the previous <laughs> exhibits. Um, thank you, Create TV. Alrighty, when you think of mad science, because we all are right now, you may think of chemistry. And our next performer certainly has demonstrated great chemistry with audiences across the country through personal appearances, concerts, and of course, a national television audience as a popular finalist from season 11 of American Idol. A product of Oak Grove High School in San Jose, please welcome DeAndre Brackensick. What's up, young? Thank you. DeAndre Brackensick. Wasn't that terrific? Heck, I'm still giddy.
All right, although each of our uh, categories recognize the outstanding creative abilities of the nominees, our next category gives props to overall creative excellence. It's difficult to be creative or excellent very early in the morning, but one of our co-presenters is exactly that each day on 94.5 K-Bay. Sam Van Zandt also has some of the best pipes in the business. And I'm sure you're also familiar with the television reality series Deadliest Catch, right? That's the program that provides a unique behind-the-scenes and on-the-boat look at the life of crab fishermen. Well, we're grateful that Deadliest Catch producer Doug Stanley is here with us and is going to be one of our next co-presenters. Now, when Doug Stanley was asked to join us, he was on board hook, line, and sinker. I'll wait. And as one might expect from someone involved in fishing, he works for scale. Please quickly welcome Doug Stanley and Sam Van Zandt. I don't know about that. <laughs> Thank you, Brian. Yeah. Uh, those puns, I think, are bad enough to sink a ship. Oh, it gave me a sinking sensation. Sam and I are honored tonight to present the Creative Award in the category of Creative Excellence, exemplifying excellence in the key production areas of producer, director, cinematographer, videographer, and editor. You know, I really love your show. Before we get to the nominees, I I have to say, that's a dangerous show. And I imagine it presents a lot of problems for your camera crews. Well, the rough waters and salt water and the huge waves, et cetera, not only ruin you know, at least 50% of our camera equipment, but wow. also uh, challenge the crew. Um, our new guys are always suffering from seasickness, and it's, uh, it's not necessarily a benefit of the job. I, I imagine so. You lose 50% of your cameras, yeah. so like an entire Create TV studio. Every week. That's a sad thing. Yeah, for That's sure. a very sad thing. And I, th I came up with a great idea for your show, a, a kind of a mix of fashion and fishing, uh, maybe keeping up with the crab fishermen. It would be good. I think we'll get uh, maybe okay. one of the Kardashians on that one. Yeah, <laughs> moving right along. <laughs> Let's get on to our nominees. And I think you go first. I think you go first. Oh, okay. <laughs> I get the picture. Okay. Uh, the nominee for cinematography and creative videography. Do I have that right? That's correct. Thank you very much. Dana Balzakowski for The Skim Shady Show. Dan L. Conley and Cheryl Conley for Kiwanis Eliminate Project. Chris McDougall for Wells Fargo Goals for Education. Sean O'Kane and Andrew Hampy for DAC 2012 and the Nanali Party. Ina Sakar and Varish Patel for Women Now TV. And our winner tonight for cinematography and videographer is Chris McDougall, the San Jose Earthquakes. I mean, when you first get here, the kids' eyes open wide up, like, oh, is that the earthquake player? Oh, who's that? And it's good, to, it's, it's good energy to, to feel that for us and feel like we're important to this community, that people and kids look up to us. Um, this week we visited uh, two local Bay Area youth soccer programs and uh, we had the help of Wells Fargo Goals for Education. Not every day they can see a, a professional athlete or maybe even an athlete they look up to. So when I see that, it means a lot just watching them, their eyes open. Uh, thank you very much. I want to thank everybody here at Create TV for this award. I also need to thank Jed Meddy, Frank Stranzel, Allison High of the San Jose Earthquakes. <clears throat> uh, we can do a lot of good in the community with help from people like Wells Fargo and normal people who contribute to the cause of the San Jose Earthquakes Community Fund. So thank you very much, and thank you for help making this community better.
Here are the nominees in the Creative Excellence Award in the category of Director. Mario Ayala for Raw G. Carolyn Brown for From the Fields and American Journey. S. Kramer Herzog for Eye of the Storm. Ina Sakar and Varish Patel for Women Now TV. Jean Spur and Dorit Grunberger for Finding the Path to Healing, Ethiopia. And the Creative Excellence Award for Director goes to Carolyn E. Brown. Damien Trujillo, NBC Bay Area News. Sus raíces fueron del campo, allí empezó él. Ahí empezó. The majority of Americans don't come from the fields of salinas and blistering heat and reach the pinnacle of a given industry. My dad was uh, called a bracero. He came here uh, back in. Carolyn E. Brown is our winner from the fields and American Journey. The next Creative Excellence Award is for editor. Post-production is where all the magic happens. Editors who work on Deadliest Catch, uh, they have a tremendous job in deciding how much the, of the colorful language of the fishermen, for example, to use, or uh, how much can actually make it on air. A lot of bleeps. A lot of bleeps. It's kind of like me working on the Sam Elisa Morning Show with Lisa Chrysler. It is. We actually use yeah. machine slamming sounds and things instead of beeps as often as possible. So I'd like to use that. We cheat that way. Uh -huh. Douglas Kreitz for the magic of Photo Central. Chris McDougall for 2012 season review. Kevin McMahon for BCP 2012. Dan Sherry for 38th Annual Charlie Wiedemeyer All-Star Football Game. Ina Sakar and Varish Patel for Women Now TV. And the winner is Chris McDougall from the San Jose Earthquakes. Again, everybody, uh, it's really nice to win twice. Um, I want to thank. Uh, the great educators here, especially my former teacher, Miss Jen Vaughn, uh, and everybody at the San Jose Earthquakes. We had a great year, and uh, this is a great way for me to cap it off. So thank you very much. Try to do this one. Yeah. Thanks, everybody, for putting up with us tonight. Our final Creative Excellence Award is for the top producer, and the nominees are... Brown for From the Fields, an American Journey. Mike Hennessy for Car Guy Channel, Antique Auto Show at History Park. S. Kramer Herzog for Eye of the Storm. Dennis Sakamoto and Sean Flanagan for Friends of a Higher Power, episode five out of 26. Morgan Walter, for I Agree with Jennifer. And the winner for Eye of the Storm, S. Kramer Herzog. Uh, the Ninth Circuit has rejected this.
say it was scheduled to die at midnight. Now, unless Governor Schwarzenegger does spare his life, is democracy now? Today, a conversation with death row prisoner Stanley Tookie Williams. I'd like to thank um, Susan, Suzanne, excuse me, Suzanne St. John, and I'd like to thank, oh, excuse me, I'd like to thank um, Pam Kelly, and I'd really like to thank all the people that were. Um, Well, folks, we're down to the final two awards of the evening, and they are, in fact, very special recognitions. First up is our Enabling Technology Award. Past recipients have been Adobe for their fantastic After Effects, and the good folks at Xilinx. To present this year's Enabling Technology Award, please welcome Create TV board member, Future Arts Now founder, and DJ extraordinaire, who, by the way, will be DJing at tonight's after party. Please welcome Damone Carter. Today's digital video making tools are truly groundbreaking, enable the art of storytelling to be taken to a whole new level. Even better, many of these tools are now affordable and accessible to those in our community who have a message and a passion, but not necessarily the budget of a Hollywood production facility. Since 1993, AJA Video has been a leading manufacturer of high quality and cost-effective digital video interface conversion and desktop solutions for professional broadcast and post-production. Based in Grass Valley, California, the company has always had a vision and a passion for leveraging its engineering expertise to set the pace for innovation in digital video technology. Create TV San Jose uses AJA devices throughout its facility and its several MAP schools, enabling our studios, bands, and playback systems to function at a highly efficient level. AJA's Kai Pro recording devices have been groundbreaking for many editors, including those in community media access centers like Create TV, streamlining the process of getting the files from the camera to the editing timeline in no time. AJA Video has been recognized year in and year out for its outstanding contributions to the video and media broadcasting industries. And tonight, on behalf of Create TV San Jose's Board of Directors, we present the 2012 Enabling Technology Video Award to AJA Video. I think we all want to go on and hear Damone and play, so uh, let's do that quickly. But um, AJA does want to thank uh, Create TV for endorsing our products by including them in their uh, um, production suites. And also our partner VMI, a local reseller of our products and partner here in uh, the Silicon Valley. We look forward to a, a long and uh, prosperous relationship with uh, Create TV and all the students that come out of their program. Thanks again. And now to present a very special recognition. Please welcome San Jose City Manager Deb Figone and Jerry Weimers. Each year, Create TV San Jose recognizes those in our community who are media champions. Whether through their public policy work or their staunch support of independent media, these champions ensure that community voices are alive and well in mainstream media. 
Past recipients of the Community Media Champion Award have included then California State Senator Joe Sinidian and former City of San Jose Public Information Officer Tom Mannheim. Earlier this year, we lost a great friend and supporter who epitomized community involvement. Many decades here in San Jose, Lee Weimers engaged the community, not only as a journalist, but as an active participant. We are proud to have with us Lee's wonderful wife, Jerry, who will help us present the award this evening. We are especially happy to announce that in his honor and memory, we have renamed our special recognition the Lee Weimers Community Media Champion Award. Perhaps no one in San Jose more defines what it means to be a community media champion than Bob Key. As owner and operator of radio stations KLIV and KRTY, Bob is in many ways the last of his kind. A local owner providing local news and programming as well as access to our community. I have to tell you a story. This day today is a day you should treasure because it will not always be like this. There will be times when you will look back and hope or wish that you could regain the wonderful thing that happened today. Shortly after I got back from Spain, I went to work for a small radio station in upstate New York. I had a wonderful time there as program director. At the end of that <clears throat> period, I ended it because I went up to my boss, the man who owned the station, and I said, I've had a wonderful time here. I've learned a lot. I've enjoyed it. I have to leave. And the reason I have to leave is that there's something coming down the road right now called television. And if I can be so presumptuous, I'd like to suggest to you that you sell this radio station as fast as you can because radio is dead. That's, that's what I said in 1948. And then after that, I, I, I left him and I did find a, a job working for CBS in New York. And after that, um, af after that, why, uh, to the White House. When the Eisenhower administration was coming to an end and all kinds of changes were taking place in the, on the staff, as they generally do at the end of a first administration, I got a telephone call. I got a telephone call from the man whom I had worked for in Geneva, New York. And he said, you remember you told me that radio was dead? <laughs> well, I didn't sell this radio station. And with its profits, I bought a radio station in Ithaca. And with its profits, this afternoon, a half hour ago, I signed for a radio station here in Rochester, New York. Would you like to come up and run it for me? How did you happen to come to San Jose? Oh, by the greatest luck. Somebody said to me that he knew about a radio station that was for sale. It was in some place south of, of, of San Francisco. He didn't know exactly. San something. <laughs> and, um, and he suggested that we, we might look into it. We looked into it and we bought it. And that was on July 1st of 1967. You've been uh, at the helm of the Empire Broadcasting Company for quite some time. What are the plans of succession do you have for the radio station? What, what? The plans of succession? <laughs> well, why should I be thinking about that? I'm only 90 years old. It gives me great pleasure to present the Lee Weimers, <laughs> just a minute, I'll get it, <laughs> Community Media Champion Award to Bob Key. Thank you. 
thank you very much. What a great honor. And I thank very much the uh, Creative, uh, Creative TV for giving me this honor. It's a great honor. But what I like best about it is that it links my name with somebody for whom I have great affection and the greatest admiration, Lee Weimers. Thank you very much. Well, that's a wrap. Thanks very much to our sponsors, including our presenting sponsor, Xilinx, Adobe, First Act, Silicon Valley, the uh, Charles Davidson Family Foundation, Focus Business Bank, Kaiser Permanente, Lautsey & Lautsey, Hopkins & Carly, Marowest Credit Union, Comcast, the Silicon Valley Community Foundation, and TechCU. And thanks to our fabulous crew here tonight, our presenters, our volunteers, and congratulations to all of our nominees and Creative Award recipients. We hope those of you in the theater here will join us just across the street at Ulipia for the after party. And uh, for those of you watching at home, well, now's the time to hit the refrigerator. Thanks for being with us. We look forward to seeing you again next year's uh, for the Creative Awards 2013. Good night, everyone. You come to the valley with your silicon dreams, but this valley of techies is not what it seems. A movie's emerging with cameras and lights, and you're the star for the night. Welcome to Valleywood. Everyone's a star in Valleywood, whether cameraman or a big screen ham we have a role for you to play grab makeup kits and your lights and sticks come enjoy your stay welcome to valleywood funny sunny techie baby valleywood where startup divas can be the dreamers and get their face on tv that IT guy can give a try Running cameras or green screen Welcome to Valleywood Oh, the fast and furious Valleywood Where Patrick Marlowe and Mr. Roadshow are equal